Joining us once again on WHKY TV News is District Attorney Scott Riley, who represents the 36th Prosecutorial District. That's Burke, Catawba, and Caldwell counties. Mr. Riley has part two of his report this month. In tonight's segment, he will talk about the resolution of an officer-involved shooting in Caldwell County. Our office recently concluded our investigation into an officer-involved shooting that occurred December 19, 2019 in Hudson, North Carolina. In that case, a Kentry Witherspoon jumped and ran from a traffic stop conducted by the Hudson Police Department. A foot chase ensued wherein Mr. Witherspoon fired at officers. At least two rounds struck a Caldwell County Sheriff's Office vehicle occupied by a deputy as he was responding to assist. Later in the day, troopers with the North Carolina State Highway Patrol observed Mr. Witherspoon going into a building at the Kincaid Furniture Plant in Hudson. As the troopers attempted to go in after him, Witherspoon fired upon the troopers. A short time later, the Caldwell County Sheriff's Office SWAT team entered into the building and for the next one and a half hours attempted to negotiate Mr. Witherspoon's peaceful surrender. For the majority of the standoff, Witherspoon only pointed his gun at himself. But minutes before the shooting, Mr. Witherspoon switched positions and had his gun pointed directly at two U.S. Marshals who were there to assist. After ignoring several commands to put down his weapon, Mr. Witherspoon made a sudden arm movement, and at that time, the U.S. Marshals fired their weapons, killing Mr. Witherspoon. After a thorough investigation by the State Bureau of Investigation, we found that the intent of Sheriff Jones and the Caldwell County Sheriff's Office SWAT team was to peacefully apprehend Mr. Witherspoon. I further concluded that there was no criminal misconduct on the part of the two United States Marshals who fired their weapons, resulting in the death of Mr. Witherspoon. I concluded that the United States Marshals' actions were justified because of the actions, behavior, and the refusal to follow lawful commands on the part of Mr. Witherspoon. As always, we thank District Attorney Scott Riley for coming in and providing us an update from the DA's office. We look forward to hearing from Mr. Riley again in one month. And with Scott Riley, I'm Rob Eastwood, WHKY-TV News. Back to you, Ralph.